Hello everyone. Hope you're doing well and staying safe. Maisa's guest for the day is someone who has an acting career spanning over 11 years with her breakthrough performances in Magiwe, Asman Sayage, and Tapki Pyarki, to name a few. She is a standout personality in the TV industry. With dancing as a first love, she flawlessly captures the viewer's eyes in an instant. She is none other than Monica Kanna. And everyone, if you love the content from this channel, please do not forget to hit the like button and a sub to the channel would be awesome. Hi, Monica. Thank you so much for joining us today. All my pleasure. My name is Pranay Prem and I'm from Maisa Magazine and I'll be taking your interview today. All right. Let's start off. Tell us something about your childhood. Where were you raised? So basically, I'm a Delhiite. Uh, I've done my graduation from Delhi University and uh, then there was a time when Mumbai was calling me, so I came to Mumbai and here I am. Then let's move on. As a teenager, did you envision yourself working in front of the camera and being where you are today as an actor and model? So basically, I was always inclined towards this entertainment industry. I was not sure whether an actor or anything else, but always wanted to be a part of entertainment industry. So my first dream was to, because I am so much into dancing, I'm a professionalized dancer uh, in salsa, jazz, ballet. So I always thought of being a choreographer, but somehow I think destiny wanted something else. And uh, that's like, you know, I got a chance in, uh, you know, Mahi Bay, Yashraj Productions. And then I landed into acting and somehow I start liking it and I, some way I, I believe that, you know, when you are very much good in act, uh, in uh, dancing, where you express yourself nicely, it will be, you can say, uh, you know, uh, brownie points for an actor to express through acting. So somewhere I believe that my dancing uh, actually made me easy uh, to do, you know, to come in front of the camera and do acting. So, yeah. So uh, you can call yourself uh, dancer slash actor, right? Mainly. Yes, absolutely. My my dance is my passion, and uh, uh, you can say acting is my job, uh, where like you know I can work. It's again I do have a passion for my acting, but if you if you uh, if I want to give a probability, uh, so it it has to be sixty forty. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're doing good in both of guys. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, can you tell us something about your debut with Mahi Ve and how it all happened? So, um, you know, a few of my friends uh, in my dance classes, they came to Mumbai and they had, I don't know what experience they had. Uh, they told me exactly the opposite story of uh, coming to Bombay and, you know, here people don't care and people, you know, they, 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 do, they don't, they, they, they just don't want to be like, you know, uh, helpful to each other. And Mumbai is very fast. People don't wait and all the stuff, stories. And I got really paranoid. I said, oh, my God, this is a city where I never wanted to be. Um, but uh, luckily, so I had thing in my mind, if I get something, something in Delhi itself, then only I'll go to Bombay. Otherwise, I will, I will not go to Bombay and, you know, struggle for my, for my you know, debut. So I got a chance, uh, you, you know, uh, Apocalypse is a production at that time. Uh, Apocalypse was a production under Yashraj uh, production, which was handling the entire show. And there I met uh, Madhudi, um, you know, and she was like, why don't you come and, you know, give the audition and all that. I said, I'm not sure about it because I'm not an actor. I have not done any kind of theater. I've not done any kind of acting classes. So I don't know whether I would be able to put it up or not. So she said, no, uh, you know, you should give it a try. I said, okay. I gave it. And uh, luckily on first go, I got selected and they said, you have to come to Bombay and we'll take care of everything. We'll, you know, give you whatever the thing is. As I was like, okay, that's really not hard. 
So I got a show there itself in Delhi. I came, I start shooting and everything, but the actual real struggle happened after that because uh, I went into that that zone where I I was like you know oh I'm a star like you know people know me people come and click pictures with me so now I'm 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 a star if something come up to me I'll see whether I want to want to take it or not I gone to that era I gone to that zone but that's not the point uh, you know the real struggle actually for me starts after my hero जैसे शाहरुख़ खान ने एक बहुत अच्छी बात बोली थी in one of the films कि जो पहला काम होता है वो आपको चूज करता है और उसके बाद जितने काम होते हैं उन्हें आप चूज करते हैं एंड दैट्स मेड अ रियली रियली इंपैक्ट ऑन मी एंड एंड या इट वाज इट वाज फन नाइस टू हियर दैट ओके देन यू हैड वन द गोल्डन पेटल्स अवार्ड फॉर बेस्ट एक्ट्रेस इन अ नेगेटिव रोल हाउ डू यू गो अबाउट वर्किंग ऑन सच रोल्स टू अपीयर सो एफर्टलेस इन फ्रंट ऑफ द कैमरा So the thing is, as I said, that you know, I have learned everything on set. Luckily, fortunately, I've worked with such a veteran actors uh, actors on set, like Himani Shivpuri, Anirudha Bey, and uh, Mukesh Khanna. Um, you know, all these actors I've learned. Mansi Salve, you know, uh, there are so many, so many. Sonali, uh, uh, Sonali Naichi, uh, Jaya Bhattacharya. How can I forget her? and uh, you know uh, uh, vinay jain uh, gun kansara you know they are such a brilliant piece of art that i've worked in and i have a, a kind of an habit where i see if somebody is really performing nice i really try hard to get that thing in me and you know i'll try in my some other show so um you know to get the best negative actress i was not uh, expecting to be honest because there was so many nominations and you know very very uh, vinay jain sir was one of them and he is such a wonderful actor so i was not expecting at all ki mujhe best negative milega of course chahat thi ki mil jaye but expectation nahi thi ki mil mil milega uh so you know when when i got the that award i couldn't believe but yes I've always, always manifested that you know one day I'm gonna go on that stage, take that trophy, and give you my, you know, give that speech, and thank everyone out there who was being part in my, you know, struggle or in my journey. Okay then, what or who has been your most inspirational character or inspirational person in your entertainment industry? Um. since i've been i told you i've been inclined towards dancing so uh, madhuri dikshit ma'am is all time my inspiration uh, when it comes to dance when it comes to being a good human being being a positivity and uh, the other person which i really really admire is uh, sushmita said the way she look life the way she you know live her life is is amazing i really want to go out with her on a date to <laughs> ask how you do it like this is so amazing she was the first person who came into limelight who adopt two kids girl kids and then you know um, and she is very very proud of whatever she has done in her life and um, she, i mean i mean career wise i don't think that she was a very successful or maybe very uh, like you know a top number one heroine but still people admired her or uh, for her work for her genuinity for her humanity so i really believe like if you ask me these are the two ladies who really inspire me each day to become a better person to become a better actor to become a better dancer so these are the two inspiration and of course um if you ask me on a personal level this is like a professional if you ask me on a personal level uh, my mother of course because you know i don't have to define mother in you know in front of the camera she is the pillar of every child uh, you know profession i mean if somebody wants to uh, you know see a dream if you want somebody wo pehla step dene wali maa hi hoti hai motivate karne wali maa hi hoti hai and the second person i really admire is uh, my dance guru fatima khanam who actually pushed me really hard to go on you know explore your wings do you know don't give up you know fly as much as high you can so 
these are the two ladies uh, personally who inspire me and professionally madhuri dikshit and sushmita sen i really really look forward one day to meet sushmita sen personally because i've met madhuri ma'am three times so yeah these are the ladies um, which really inspire me each day to be a good one to be a better person yeah having gained a prominent face on television have you given it a thought to become appearing on ott platforms as well as, as well as appearing on the big stage on cinema absolutely absolutely why not everybody wants to see themselves on a 70 mm screen you know and where when it comes to ott people are coming up with such a nice content i want to be a part of it and um, i have done one international film called alex strip uh that's an international film abhi wo miami mein nahi aayi hai but you know that film has crossed many of the festivals and they've done they've got such a brilliant response so been a part of it and it is amazing amazing to work with these with these international people and uh, you know when it comes to ott i'm really trying my luck to get into ott because uh you know there when we comes to a daily so we have a one side look because the kind of audience we have for a daily soap of are uh, they are non metropolitan they are very urban they are very bahut chote chote shehron se jo hai wo log dekhte hain unko hamari acting se zyada hamare kapde hamara makeup hamare baal hai so in sab mein zyada dilchaspi rehti hai and to some extent content but now the audience have become so smart they become so clever that they 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 know what we are portraying they know what we are you know giving them but when it comes to odt i believe that you know there are so so many good content that have come up people are so natural they don't want unnecessary makeup they don't want unnecessary clothes to be put on and uh, you know uh, when it comes when we when we watch it on tv i always believe i said oh i want to do this i can you you know the kind of challenges uh, you know you want to have in your life wo challenge ka level bahut up ho jata hai mujhe aisa lagta hai what am i doing i am i can do this thing much better than what i'm doing right now okay. so obviously it's not to kabhi nahi marti and you always a greedy person when it comes to work when it comes to name make name fame money everything uh so mujhe bhi aisa lagta hai ki when it given a chance of course uh maybe ott pe aane ki koshish karungi and uh, you know uh, and i know i can do it much better than what i i am doing it right now but i believe that whatever has given whatever the god has given me right now due to this pandemic and everything i'm 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 working i'm having a good time i've you know got to see so many beautiful people on set they are so good to me you know happy go lucky people so i'm really really thankful to for everything whatever i have right now in this in this point in this place so yeah but of course uh, as i said it's chai nahi marti you know what to be a part of ott you know what to be a part of a big screen one day inshallah definitely hoping to see you on ott very very soon very very soon yes so lastly maisa magazine's ambition is to provide a platform for underrated artists to showcase their talent what would your advice be for all those who are planning to make it big so i would like to you know tell people who are really trying hard uh, to come into this industry is you have two things in your, in their mind one is patience you have to have lots and lots of patience in you so that you know it will be easy for you to uh, get into this industry and second thing is self belief if you don't believe yourself you do if you don't know that you know if you don't believe uh, in yourself in your craft in your anything then you cannot um, tell the other person to believe in you so for these two things are really really important in you if you know that you can do it if you know that you have that fire in you if you know that you know you're made up for this industry you know that if given a chance if given a opportunity you can kill it any time then please do come we all are waiting for you because i believe that you know um, always i i always tell my people all my juniors all my people who you know jinka pehla show hota hai unke liye bhi main bolti hu ki you know never give up if you know that you have a spark in you go for it but to have a patience because there is a lot of rejections happening a lot of rejection like i have rejected 100 and many more times to get into a perfect role so don't dishearten don't don't uh, you know only one person cannot define your uh, you know credibility no person can define your you know uh, what you are capable of 
So these are the two things which really uh, put me up uh, when it comes to work, when it comes to this, in, uh, this uh, profession and lots of hard work, Delhi. Lots of hard work. We have 12 hours shift. We don't have a personal life. Um, you know, people love to see us as a person. But if you ask me when I get an off, I just switch off my mobile and go off to sleep because that's really we get. So there are a lot, a lot of hard work happen patience you have to have self-belief so these are the three you know mainly the two mantras but once you get work you have you you cannot give up you if you have entered it's kind of a war that you're getting into you if you don't fight if i did for yourself then so uh, i believe that industry so so I wish you all the best, all of you out there who wants to be a part of this industry. And uh, please do come. We are here to welcome you with our open arms. And uh, all the best. Keep, keep smiling like this forever. Well, those are very inspiring words. And never give up is a way to go. Yes, absolutely. You should never, ever give up. So thank you, ma'am, for spending your valuable time with us. And I hope we can do this again very, very soon. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Pranay, for getting me in that in this interview, for getting in touch with me and uh, uh, the kind of response I've got. Thank you for getting for connecting with me. And, you know, it, it's a wonderful medium to, um, you know, to tell all the newcomers that, you, that, you know, life is very beautiful. You have to just live it rightly. And. Do what makes you happy. Don't worry about what people think. You don't even know what people are, who these people are. So just do it what makes you happy. And these are the, you know, uh, the kind of interviews you take. This is the medium of telling people that, yes, life is very beautiful. And thank you. Thank you for all the love and care. Thank you for all the time. Thank you for uh, getting in touch with me and uh, making this interview possible. So thank you, Pranay. It was wonderful, wonderful having a chat. With you. Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a lovely day ahead. Same to you. Bye.